go now. Realize what you always have been. And let us liberate the world from what we have streamed off of from upon forth. Let us enrich ourselves with the living nature of certain secret themes that liberate us. Different, so many different types of themes. Sacrifice. Detachment. Being some of the main ones to keep this whole notion and this torch lit for liberation to be even what it is. Some sort of sacrifice is there, you know. Some sort of this mission is here. This mission, there's a mission that's calling us that we're not we're not necessarily sure unless we do the own peeling of the of our own layers and how we, you know, see fit. You know, that's what that's what um that's what your mutable earth would tell you, you know, within the, the different types of going through the different types of mental polarities. You know, not necessarily any other polarities, but the mental polarities of like seeing and seeing the vision simultaneously receiving, you know, a, a fusion of sound and light. Because that's what like, you know, that's what part of this whole matrix is, you know. It's a fusion of a different context of the chakras, you know. Because the solar system itself has its own chakras and so does the earth. So within that chakras, our chakras are having different types of synonymous relationships with those chakras. And they're, they're, they're having subtle downloads or not, you know, based, and it's just like, you know, weaned off in, in a unique type of way. Hopefully not too artificial. Hopefully not too just opened up and spiritual, but some type of material melding that, um... That could be, you know, just kind of like relayed as far as like a metaphysiological receiver transmitter, you know, because all, every cell in one, in one case is something of like a receiver and a transmitter in itself, like every cell is, you know, so it's like we have trillions of cells. So it's like for us to like think of those trillions of cells as just being their own, like, you know, I guess micro parsec parcel reflection of what consciousness is, because is consciousness everything or not? Or is it nothing? Or is it somehow both, you know? So it's like, it's not, I'm not trying to say I'm just trying to explain all of consciousness in one, you know, night or phrase or paraphrase or sentence or, you know, reflection or recollection. But in, in one instance, the, the intelligence of all these collected sustained memories is just that, you know, it's, it's, it's something of an everything and it's something of a nothing at the same time because it's it that's that's what re, that's what non-duality would say it is you know because it's the non-dual of those particular duels and non-duals and and those are both duels and non-duals within their own right at the same time so it's non-dueling both of those so this is real like modern like like um expression of of how the mind body soul goes to duality and then supposedly more or less goes back to non-duality right but that's the thing that's the whole level it's like we're attached in unique ways we don't even necessarily know and we're detached in unique ways we don't necessarily know because i wrote a lot you know i wrote a lot today you know because i was gonna do like this other ceremony and after writing you know i like this this format i did it was like the third this is the third time i did this particular one i, I did a certain like you know structure today and I'll, obviously i didn't get a chance to show it because because I'm still like writing the piece and stuff, but like it, it, it's um, it's already like you know, it's still it like in one se in one other broad sense, it's like it's there, you know, it's like it, it's being like there's this like shared um positive influence that's out there for us. But the thing is, w based on just our distractions, ignorance, and neglection, we're not relaying the good the 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 constructive information of how like you know um 
the the detachment of, of things it, it's it's more beneficial to be attached and attachment is just going towards like by a default it's going towards like you know kind of like um kind of like some default shadow you know there's a default shadow within that duality and within the default shadow of that duality it's it's better to like you know uh, like unturn that you know unturn that into like where like it's it's not polarized and once it's not polarized once we like depolarize our emotions then we could have a unique liberation a unique freedom from samsara so so within certain like dualities there's a reason for like things are happening so you could be liberated because it's like let us liberate the world world within agreement within sacrifice and and sacrifice is is like one of the things that comes from sacrifice is detachment like a constructive detachment on a, in a spiritual on a spiritual way and what do i mean by spiritual way just like seeing how like you know, the, the, there's a bigger force of consciousness or whatever you want to call it that's in control of everything. And when you like give it the go ahead for it to be for God to be in control of all your affairs, then that's like, you know, that's that's rearranging your subconscious faith for the better because you're trusting yourself from a deep level. And when you trust yourself from a deep level, you, you, you have discernment. And, um, that discernment, it's like, that's a positive, that's a constructive attachment too. Cause there's a fine line between attachment and detachment. And that fine line between attachment and detachment is some type of like in between the dualities of like the duality is still valid between the non dualities. And what that means is like, there is like a healthy attachment that's needed mind, body, and soul as we are human, but particularly towards that which is constructive beneficial and more so just like casually exalted you know so within that it's like that's that's the save that's like the that's like the foundation of bliss purity pleasure and and, and sovereignty and liberty if you think about it because it, it's pointing to like the deep energetic sciences of of what it what gets us involved and entangled with maya to begin with is certain particular types of attachments and within certain particular types of attachments um we have to balance the attachment to the det detachment to to create a whole new wave of liberation we have to agree energetically mind body soul metaphysiologically and metaphysically we have to create a a, a frequency of liberty so shanti chit Om Sat. Thank you guys.